Natasha, can you please tell us why we should vote for Labour? You want me to tell you why? Yeah, please okay. tell us. Um, really, so um, at the moment we're seeing all these billboards and signs and all coming up. And I think we should be putting up a big billboard saying um, officially the Labour Party is the biggest political party with over 200,000 members. Why do we have over 200,000 members? The Conservatives like to say, oh, it's because they're very well organized, they have a lot of uh, people on the ground, they're a lot of supporters. We have these supporters and we make them our members so that they are committed and loyal to us. And they're loyal only because Labour Party gives them what they want. Because they make sure that we give them a just and fair society. When Labour is in power, who gave India its independence? In 1947, if you remember, it was Labour. It was not the Conservatives. There was no sign of weakness. There was no racist party as such over there. At that time, it was Labour who gave the independence, who agreed to it. Um, when we talk about uh, people succeeding, at the moment, Ed Miliband's line is when people succeed, Labour succeeds. When Labour succeeds, people succeed. And Britain succeeds when the people succeed. And that is something very important because at the moment we see how pe people are living really lives of poverty, how economy has suffered with the massive cuts, which we were saying are very drastic and it was not taken into account. And now we are seeing the effects of it, where economy should have been booming by now, according to what George Osborne was telling us. We are not seeing it shift. It's moving so slowly. So we need to look at all these things. We looked at our NHS being privatized, as uh, Sitara over, said, over here said. Do we really want to do the American system of having insurances in place, not knowing when, where, how much would be, would be needed, not being able to provide our people the emergency services that they require unless they have a card in their pocket? So we need to look at these things. We need to look at the education. People cannot afford the £9,000 tuition fee for universities. And since the fee was introduced, actually the percentage of students who are enrolling in universities has gone down. And we cannot turn a blind eye to it and say, oh, it's just because people are losing interest, they're going into vocational fields. It is not that. It is a case of the children are wise enough to realize that once they come out of universities, some of them will be taking subjects which will not give them the finance to be uh, to, to afford to pay back the loans in time. And although on the one hand it will give a blanket cover to everybody, it is still too much. And Labour has pledged that we will bring the fee down to £6,000 um, if they are elected. At the Birmingham rally on Saturday, Ed Miliband and our MP for Birmingham, Khalid Mahmood is here, and he would know more than me on this, but Ed Miliband has uh, given our five key election pledges. And if we look at them, uh, they are focused on the deficit, immigration, um, living standards, health, health services, and a promise to help younger people, and which is very important. Who is the future for Britain? It is the young people, it is the youth. And the youth is suffering at the moment. We need to look after them. Why should we vote Labour? We should vote Labour to ensure that our future is bright. That we ourselves live in a country where our health is, as when we were younger, we should be able to give the same thing to the children that we have who are nowadays questioning us as to whether they should actually live over here anymore, whether my children have started questioning whether they should move abroad. I'm very loyal and faithful over here. I've always voted Labour. I voted Labour even before I knew what Labour was all about. And once I knew, and I knew how much my own socialist values reflected, well, it reflected in Labour and how much Labour's values were reflected in me, I decided I would stick with Labour. We see a lot of people defecting to UK from Conservatives, from Labour. But are they actually defecting for the right reasons? I think not. I think most of the people who are defecting over to UKIP are because 
they couldn't get seats, they couldn't get uh, what they wanted, and it is more a career move than a political or a, a decision that is actually reflecting their own values. So, should we vote Labour? I believe we should vote Labour. If we want to have ourselves a better future, a better uh, youth growing up, a health service as we knew it, which is the pride and joy of Britain, I think we should vote Labour. Thank you. Thank you very much. The purpose of this meeting is that you give your message, which will obviously be seen and heard by so many people. So you just give your views, how you feel that you should support Labour. This is basically, uh, it's a pro-Labour uh, event. It's not that we are going to have uh, a different view. But uh, if you give your strongest points, which you feel that this is why you support Labour, and this is the reason you think that the communities should vote for Labour Party.